Last year around this time, the DART spacecraft was 7 million miles from Earth, en route to make its terminal run against the moonlit Dimorphos. DART collided head-on with the asteroid, fundamentally deforming and changing its orbit. The final image it sent back to the Earth was that of a rock-strewn field. What was a staple of science fiction fare was successfully recreated in real life in a historic mission. James Webb as well as Hubble shot the iconic moment in our planet's history. For the first time in more than 60 years of space exploration, humanity had not just explored the solar system, but also rearranged it. Well, kind of. In the last few years, humanity has been on an asteroid-finding spree. Those close to Earth, known as near-Earth objects, have been particularly interesting for two reasons. One is they offer potentially lucrative economic opportunities with asteroid mining. The other is that they are potentially devastating if they hit the Earth. So we'd like to find them with some advance warning. Those that fall into the latter category are known as potentially hazardous asteroids. Now, thanks to some ingenious programmers from the University of Washington, we have artificial intelligence that will detect hazardous asteroids. Orbit Beyond the Blue Of the 30,000 total LENEOs found so far, about 2,300 of them are potentially hazardous. However, researchers think there are at least that many left to be discovered. The hazardous ones typically come within 5 million miles of Earth and must be large enough to be a potential threat, not just burn up in our atmosphere as a shooting star. Finding these dim objects, even when they are on their closest approach, can be a daunting challenge. Scientists typically use specialized telescopes like the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS for short, at the University of Hawaii. However, these massive telescopes usually have to image the same patch of sky four times in a single night to catch a glimpse of an asteroid on the edge of its detection range. That's where the new algorithm comes in. Developed by Ari Hines, a researcher, and Siegfried Egel, now a professor at the University of Illinois, the algorithm, known as HelioLink 3D, is capable of finding data on asteroids that might be spread throughout observations of multiple days from a single satellite. Which is precisely what happened when it found its first new hazardous asteroid. Now known as 2022 SF-289, Atlas originally picked it up during observations on September 19, 2022, but it was only captured once that night. Luckily, it was captured three more times by Atlas on two separate nights as well, and HelioLink 3D could piece together the puzzle to find the asteroid hiding in plain sight. 2022 SF-289 is not a threat, while its orbital path will take it within 140,000 miles of Earth, it appears unlikely to impact the planet at any point in the foreseeable future. And, at 600 in length, it likely would be devastating, but not catastrophic, like the asteroid that contributed to the dinosaur's downfall. Other observatories also missed discovering it, as it was located in a region of the Milky Way that is awash with background stars, making it difficult to make out a faint, fast-moving rock, even if it is much closer to us. Once discovered, though, it was quickly confirmed by other specialist asteroid hunters like the Catalina Sky Survey and Pan Stars. So, chalk one up for the new algorithm. But that's just the beginning of its contributions. HelioLink 3D was originally developed to work on a much more powerful telescope. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, planned to come online in Chile in early 2025, is expected only to require two captures a night to detect asteroids like this rather than the four currently needed. And HelioLink 3D will help it do that. For our own sakes, we should all wish it the best of luck. There are plenty more asteroids that are on the list of potentially hazardous ones that can prove dangerous for Earth. One such is asteroid 2022 KL8, which was discovered earlier this year, 
and is set to make a close pass by Earth in the year 2111. It could be a very interesting object for astronomers to study or for future astronauts to even visit. There's also the co-sized asteroid 2090b, which has a 1 in 350,000 chance of smacking into Earth in 2022. Officially, the second riskiest asteroid on the list, based upon a combination of its size and likelihood of impact, is asteroid 1979 XB, a monster of a rock about a half mile across. And then there's the near-Earth and potentially hazardous asteroid with a 2.7% chance of hitting Earth. The highest on the list, 99942 Apophis. The asteroid was previously thought to be at risk of impacting Earth in six years, on April 13, 2029. However, NASA ruled out the possibility of these impacts earlier this year, but not entirely. Which means that we are safe, for now. NASA JPL has considerable reason to believe that the asteroid will be making a dangerously close approach after a hundred years and also will be on an Earth resonant path in 2060 and 2068. It will still be approaching in 2029. It will be as close as Venus is to Earth and will provide a massive opportunity to study it before its riskiest approach 100 years in the future. Apophis is enormous. And with a name like that, it is scary enough as is. Discovered in 2005, it's reckoned to be about 370 meters in diameter. That's about as tall as the Empire State Building in Manhattan, New York. It's reckoned that an asteroid as big as that coming as close to Earth as Apophis will, is a one in a thousand years event. Apophis isn't going to strike our planet on April 13, 2029 but scientists think that the effect on it of the close pass could be to alter its trajectory, and dangerously so. This Earth swing by could put the rock on an Earth resonant impact trajectory that comes in 2060 or 2068. NASA doubts that, but given that Apophis just might cause a catastrophe in 40 years, scientists intend to study the asteroid when it makes its closest approach in 2029. After all, if there's even a small chance that Apophis could be nudged onto an Earth-bound trajectory post its 2029 approach that sees it collide with Earth in 2068, then we'd better know what it's made of and exactly how best to deflect or disrupt it onto a new trajectory. Their plan is quite a risky one. Either way, the Apophis 2029 PDM would be an intriguing follow-up mission to the DART. It's believed that NASA will be using its OSIRIS-REx mission to visit Apophis during its close approach to Earth in 2029. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is already an experienced candidate in visiting huge asteroids and studying them for us. In 2020, it briefly touched asteroid Bennu, from where it collected samples of dust and pebbles to be able to observe Apophis and the changes that may be induced by its close approach to Earth, the spacecraft would have to rendezvous with Apophis several months in advance. The main mission objectives for Apophis 2029 PDM would be to make impact risk assessments, determine its physical properties and interior structure, and map its entire surface before and after the Earth flyby. It will also be an unmissable opportunity for astronomers and planetary scientists to get a close-up view of a true relic of our solar system's formation. This is why the DART mission was so important for NASA and the world. And now, so is the AI algorithm that will track these asteroids. There are plenty of asteroids and other space rocks out there that we haven't yet discovered or started tracking. So the data gained from these programs could literally come in handy at just about any moment. We are embarking on a new era of humankind, an era in which we potentially have the capability to protect ourselves from something like a dangerous, as a disasteroid impact. The hope is all this will also better inform any future efforts to divert more threatening space rocks that attempt to call on Earth without an invitation. But what do I know?
orbit. Beyond the blue, 